So this is VCAR Pro. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a file that we can use to set up to cut something on our CNC router, which is, we call it the shop bot. So I'm going to go to create new file. So go ahead and create a new file. And when you do that, <clears throat> this already loaded in previous stuff that I had. So we're the first thing that we're going to actually make is a, a breadboard out of some oak. So we're going to use three quarter inch oak. So for our width, uh, we're probably going to use 10 inches wide. So that's the X distance. And then the height will probably be no more than probably 11 inches. So type in a 10 and 11. And the thickness, I'm going to get 3 quarter inch. So we'll put 0.75 inches for that. Now, do you see where the zero is for Z? Z stands for height. height. So if you think about um, three-dimensional objects, Z is up, not Y. When you're writing on paper and you have math, on the paper, where does Y go? Away from you, right? So Y in three dimensions is away from you. Z is up. And across from you is X. Okay, so you click OK. So this space that I have right now is how wide? 10 inches. How tall? 11. And that's our, our template for cutting stuff. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go find an image that's super simple. Uh, I want to make my cutting board look like the state of Minnesota. So I'm going to type in Minnesota. Black and white. Silhouette. Yeah, it's got to be super simple, though. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, which which of these up here looks like a good, simple image to use? I like this one. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to right-click on it. There won't be when I... When I do it, it's a PNG image. I'm actually going to find, let's see. So if I go into VCAR Pro, this bird, this folder in the bird is for importing images. Let's see if we can import a PNG. What does it say? Can I import a PNG? Yep. Sweet. So I'm going to go back to that. I'm going to right click on it, save the image as, and I'm going to call it. Minnesota. And save it. Now what I can do is go into VCAR Pro and import that image. I saved it to my desktop. And there it is. I'm going to open that. Now, how big is that right now? Not very big. Doesn't matter. Next thing I'm going to do is come down here and see this bird. That's the, the icon for tracing it. So I'm going to trace that image. So I click on that. Oh, it was just... I did here. Import. Oh, click OK. There you go. So trace that, right? And gives me different options. This is black and white, which is what I have selected. 
and I'm going to preview it. See what it did? It traced out the outline of Minnesota, but it also traced out this other stuff. Guess what I'm going to do with that? Erase it. So I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to close it. I'm going to select this. I don't need that image anymore, so I'm going to actually drag that image off. Come on. I should be able to... There it is. I don't need that anymore, so I'm going to drag that off and delete it. So I'm going to hit the delete key, not the backspace. And then check this out. See that? I don't need that, so I'm going to select it and delete it. And then what do I want to do with the Minnesota? Do I want to make it larger? So I'm going to double click on it. And if I hold the shift key at the same time as I drag, it drags it out proportionally. Now, what do I have to be careful of? Because this is actually going to be cut by a machine. Well, the machine has a bit, and the bit is about a quarter inch wide. But can I go right to the edge? No. I have to be within probably a half inch of the edge. Because if I'm within a half inch of the edge, what will the router bit do? It'll cut away a quarter inch, so I'll still have a quarter inch of space. Does that kind of make sense? So you need to make sure that you have enough space on the edges, top and bottom, to cut it out. Okay? I'm ready to toolpath. Sweet. So this is all set to toolpath. So now if you look at the far right, that's my toolpathing. So on the trial version that you download at home, you can toolpath at home, but what won't you be able to do? Save the toolpath. So this whole side is my design file. I'm actually going to save that right now. So I'm going to hit save as. How should we name this so that you and I know it's yours? Yeah, so I'm going to go Lee C, my first initial. And then I'm going to put fourth hour because I know it's fourth hour. And then what? You gotta tell us what the project is, right? So this is a cutting board. Now I know if you upload that to Schoology for the design file, I'll download it so I can get it on to the computer that runs the machine. We can be touchless, right? We don't have to save it to a flash drive and carry the flash drive over. You can just share it with me on Schoology and then I'll be able to run it and, and and save it. So that's the design file. So let me show you. I save that to my desktop, right? Where did it go? See right here? That's the file we just created. Now, what else do you need? The machine also needs to have a toolpath file. It has to have instructions on how to do its cutting. That's over here. So this is where it's going to take you a while to learn all the different tools. There's tons of tools. This first one is a profile toolpath. That's for cutting. So I'm going to click on that. We're going to cut all the way through it. How thick was it? 0.75. So how deep do I have to go? More than 0.75. So I'm going to go to point. Eight. Why? It's got to cut all the way through it. It's actually going to cut into the board on the table. It's called a spoil board. It's meant to be cut into. Now, we also have to have the correct tool. So I have to go into select. The tool we're using, you got to remember this, it's a quarter inch down cut bit. See what it looks like? It's flat on the bottom. That's the tool. So guess what I always do anyway when you bring up your files to me? 
I always check this stuff to make sure it's set up properly. So that's the, the tool we're going to use is the down cut bit. And now check this out. I selected this so that it's highlighted. We can cut on the outside, on the inside, or on the line. I want it to look as accurate as possible, so I'm going to cut on the outside of the line. Down here I can name the toolpath. I'm going to call it my cut toolpath. Okay, you can leave it as profile one, two, whatever you want. Now, the other thing that you may want to do is add tabs. Tabs allow the thing to not move. The computer can figure out where the tabs go, but I like to just kind of place them myself. So I'm going to edit the tabs. So I clicked edit. I only want one, so I'm going to add tabs. Do you see where it put the tab? Is that a good place to... No, we want it kind of on a corner, so I'm going to... Get rid of it there, and I'm going to put the tab right here, okay? Don't worry, this is all going to be a video that you can watch too. All right, I can close that. So now, guess what I can do? I can calculate the toolpath. So I'm going to go down to calculate. It warns me, hey, you're going to cut through. Is that okay? Yep, we're going to cut through. We know that. And there's my toolpath. Now, what's so cool about this, so I'm left-clicking. How many t how many passes is the, is the machine going to take to cut through it? Three. Four. Why is it going to take four paths? Why didn't it do, just do it at once? Just one path. Yeah, it'd break the bit. Okay. Now, what do you have to do when you're done with this? You need to save this toolpath. So this button here saves the toolpath. I need to check all output files need to get saved. I'm going to name this the same. It's a different file type. So I can do um, Lee C. Which one is it? Cutting board? Is it going to overwrite the vcarve file? Nope, because notice it ends in what? This one's going to end in SBP. That's a ShopBot toolpath file. The design file ends in CRV. So I'll hit save. Uh, but I got to take that out. There. And now I have two files. One's a toolpath file, and one is a so this is my toolpath file, and this is my design file. So what does the machine need to cut? The toolpath file. What do you need to design the design file? Okay. When you submit stuff to me, what are you going to submit? The design file. Okay. Because I'm going to go through and check that anyway. So that's that's it. That's all you need to do for setting up to cut something with uh, VCAR Pro.